It's heavy. Lift with your legs. Lead time so dope. It's a pretty battery. Good morning, folks. Let me say what it do to the homestead homies. Let me say what's up, T3 Tribe. I ain't got much time today, but I need to close this in, the soffit for this. So I'm going to do that real quick with siding because we like to test out to see what it's going to look like before we go all in so that's what i'm gonna do like the video subscribe if you haven't already i'm about to get into it y'all we just moved the, the powerhouse over because I need to be able to grade this whole area and then put the powerhouse where it goes. So we ended up hooking it up, moving it over. Because that's what we need to do. So, And I'll be back later this week to grade and then put it back where it go. I told y'all we like to make sure we test things out. I'm going to stick them up there and see if we like them. I mean, you know, the wife will choose what she like. They're not sealed yet. So they're not waterproof yet. What else do I need out of here? Compressor, 16 gauge nail gun, and my line. I know we ain't got the panels hooked up 24 seven yet. So yeah, by now you probably guessed it. It's another 48 volt battery. This one is lead time, but we'll get into the lead time in a little bit. Lift with your legs. And we looking pretty good. Don't look like it's any waltz nests up there. So by now, y'all should already know the drill. Let me set this battery up in here and I'm gonna tell you about it. And I'm gonna go grab my inverter so I can get it right. I'm gonna drop this here on the ground. So I can get everything out of it. Lee time sent it out. They said, hey, we want you to check this battery out, man. It's a 48 volt battery. We think you can use it. It'll be awesome. So what we have is life and discovery. We got the manuals. We got stickers. We got how to use this bad boy. File. These are the stands. If you got a bunch of batteries, you put it between the batteries. It gives space and the air gap. And it comes with the screws for that hardware. It comes with... Man, that's three communication cables, y'all. And they come with the ground cable and the shorty negative and positive. They they look nice too. They got they they got it together, y'all. Lead time so dope. 48 volt, 100 amp hour. It's nice and nice build. It's a pretty battery. Got your battery covers or terminal covers. Parallel in outs, PC, never use that. And then you can communication to your inverter. It's got its own on off power switch. Anyway, I'll show y'all that in a second. Let me set that down. And I'm gonna go grab the inverter real quick. Just throw it down on top of that. Connect some cables real quick and we'll be in business. Dug deep in the storage and got my 16 gauge out so I could put this soffit up there. Uh, with the wood that y'all saw me take out earlier. So that little thing should not have a problem with being run by that battery. And then let me go grab the inverter real quick. And let's see what we got. We're going to hook her up. I'm about to connect those and see if it'll start this compressor up. And then talk to y'all a little bit more about lead time uh in this complex edition all right so the unit is off this unit is off this has come in pretty handy no joke to be able to test my batteries that i'm gonna need out here and this particular battery uh it's the complex edition so it's got the on off button uh switch on there but it's also touch screen and i'll show you all that in a in a minute here terminals also came in the pack y'all i charge it up because you know that's what you need to do when you get these batteries individually the lithium ion batteries need to be charged up to a hundred percent touch screen it that bad boy comes on you tell it what you want to see the battery tells you it's a hundred percent 
I'll show y'all everything with that in a minute. So let me see if I could get this compressor started. All right. So I told y'all before my EG4 3000, it's already got a setup for power. I just use the power strip It's protected and it'll surge up to 4,800. The other pieces that y'all saw hanging off of that is of course the battery cables, but then the PV input, which is for solar to get the power from the panels into it. So just want y'all to know that if you're new and you haven't seen what I've been doing here or any of the other batteries that I've been testing out so that we can be ready for the homestead, this is what I've been using. But today, we gonna see if she'll run that. Plug that in, air hose. Let's fire this thing up. We'll hear that beep in a minute. Yep, so that's right on. So now the inverter, since we know that the battery is definitely connected to that known because it turned on, I'm waiting for the screen to let me know. 53, okay, it's on, it's getting the voltage from it. I'm gonna turn the surge protector on. And it's hard to see out here in the sun, but it's got its protected light lit up. Listen, y'all, the Complex Edition LiPo 4 lead time battery, it's dope. 48 volts, it's gonna add to my system. I'm gonna keep growing it, and uh, it's taking care of this, no problem. There it is, it cut off. So, all right, let me, uh, let me get to work on doing the few things that I needed to do today, because really I got like 45 minutes for real to uh, see if I could get this softened up. And I'm thankful that good old lead time worked out. And let's see, cause it's gonna keep cutting on and off, on and off as I use it. So uh, it'll be out here for the, it'll, it's my workstation right now. So here we go, let's get some work done. And y'all, I had to pick up some 16 gauge nails cause I don't typically use this nail gun and compressor. Had some uh, three four inch ones in there before. All right, we good to go. Man, I do have a leak in that thing. Okay, though. And y'all, like we told y'all before, this is just regular store bought lumber. Uh, it's not treated. We're treating it. So you see the back of it, it's just regular pine and it's got the tongue and groove on one side and then it's got like a slope on the other. And y'all will see us prepare more of this once I see that I like it up there or the wife sees that she likes it up there. Again, y'all, I haven't put the waterproofing on it yet, mainly because I didn't have time and I wanted to get out here and get this done. But I'm gonna put it on as soon as I'm done with this. And yeah, y'all, I know I'm not tripping. I came out here to see if this was gonna work. This was kind of a, a practice thing. And I also wanted to make sure that one of those batteries was gonna be able to run my compressor. And it is. I'm about to go ahead and tape this off right to the edge of that so that when the water comes down, it doesn't get behind my socket. Let me see if I could get a decent look up at the top of there. I know it's kind of hard to see. I'll take you up closer to see on the ladder, but yeah. That's what we got going right now. So y'all can see, and I just got that flipped over for now, hanging, cause I'm gonna cut it back. And it's got a tongue and groove, so it's a little lip under there that the other piece sticks under. And then we'll tack it down and work our way down. All right, y'all, so 
let's see if the lead time battery has gone down at all all right so let's uh see where we at and then overall oh down to 97 we can see it's using 1.2 amps and it's still sitting at the voltage condition is normal it's out here in the sun but doesn't seem to be having any problems there is no solar hooked up for me to show y'all what solar will do right now but that's another 48 volt battery y'all to add to our powerhouse to add to the power we gonna need out here to live and that's important appreciate y'all for tuning in leave a comment or something t3 tribe love y'all man peace